Okay, people, today is Monday. I'm going to get ready to go to our, our Prima Vera, that uh, daycare center for the homeless, and see if I have any milk and Social Security. Because they say, at first, uh, I was here, some takes 30 days. Then the last time I talked, they said 90 days. Now, it's been 100 days. Now, they told me that uh, since I had to change my address to Prima Libera, uh to the daycare center for the homeless, that it would take two days for them to notify Social Security in Chicago and then two days for me to get a letter. Now, these things are amazingly crazy because they tell me they don't have my records and paperwork here at the Social Security Administrative Office that I have to go uh, to Chicago now uh, to get my records. And now, but she uh, said that slipped out of my mouth. When I asked her for the main office in Baltimore of Maryland, she said, well, we're all main offices. But you just told me that you don't have my files, you don't have my information, that it's somewhere else. She said, we're all main offices except for our satellites. <clears throat> now, they've been telling me they weren't the main office. So, uh, I'm going to walk up there because the day is the 30th, and uh, I'm going to call our, my debit card and see, is there money on there? If I can find a public phone. Prima Bear should have a phone. Let me see whether they let me use their phone to find out what my uh, benefits are. But um, I'm going to go to that first, and then I'm going to walk up, uh, uh, go back on the bus and go to Social Security, because I doubt if they put my money on my card for this month. But in the meantime, I'm in my crazy motel. You have to excuse it, because I've been doing a lot of uh, preparing, because you know we're supposed to have that. A blackout for November the 4th to the 6th where well, all the electricity in the United States, the whole grid, will be shut down. They say for two days. But we know our government, they don't intend if it goes down to let it come back up, period. So, um, I'm preparing. God always has me preparing to uh, in case something happens. So, in my little bit of room, I'll make a video about this room later. I'm showing you how I'm preparing some uh, dehydrating with the heater. Since the heater in the window doesn't work, they gave me this heater, and I'm dehydrating some uh, sweet potatoes. I got sweet potatoes here, and you see my setup. I got my cans of the inside holding up, and I got a level down here, a sweet potato down there. I uh, cured some bacon, or I did this in, uh, since last night. I bought this stuff yesterday. I cured some bacon with uh, red peppers, black peppers, and some sea salt. Eh, I got to see how it tastes later because I'm going to get out of here. I got some uh, fermented cabbage, cabbage going. And if I have time before I have to leave the room, I'll probably uh, take the uh, juice off and dehydrate the fermented cabbage. I have some... Uh, for many um, cranberries, cranberries that I have fermenting, I dehydrated these some sweet potatoes that I've dehydrated already. These bags, you know, these bags hold moisture, so I'm gonna have to probably um, dehydrate them one more time before I store them. This is some celery that I dehydrated last night. Celery and green onion. I want to make me some celery salt. So, with my little setup, I have dehydrated because who needs to be carrying loads and loads of food to need to get little? So, I'm trying to get little, so I'm dehydrating a little bit of food so I'll have something to eat on in case something happens. All I have to do is add water. Add water. I got some uh, Mormon soups. So, if I want to uh, have some meat and some soup, or put this in something else, I can throw me some, uh, uh, this is not bacon. You see how it's torn up? This is what I meant to tell you. I bought this from uh, Food City. It's supposed to be a slab bacon cut, 
And as soon as I put the salt on it, it fell apart. Now I told you, who said you were selling alien meat and, and probably human meat too? So, I've seen the videos where they can take this glue they got, glue different parts of meat together, make it look like steak, ham, uh, probably chicken. So this was not pork. When I looked at it, when I took it out of the package, I can tell, I got it from behind the meat counter. I can tell it was not pork when I got rid of it, salted up and stuff. And then it fell apart before I could even dehydrate it. Just as I was going to, uh, just as I put the salt, pepper and stuff, running around, it fell apart. So obviously this was meat parts that were glued together. And it's not, uh, it's not a uh, pork. So, my grandmother used to say, "Ain't no telling what you'll eat before you leave this planet." He deserved. Ooh, it looked like a demon right there. Is that a demon? Like a demon right there, demon or alien? Well, there's one right there. That's an eye. Looks like there's something in the back. Ah, demons all over. Get that. In my food. Well, I've seen demons in my vinegar. I still drink it. Like I said, guys, my grandma said, no matter, no telling how what you eat for you leave this plant. But, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I was reading scripture, and when I found out they were putting human DNA, and our foods that Obama had granted these companies money to uh, experiment with putting DNA in our food, I decided I didn't want to eat much anymore but fruits and vegetables. And I was reading scripture, and God said, it's a fool who won't eat fruits and vegetables, especially since our fruits and vegetables are alive too. <laughs> so they are contaminated too with that more gallons and with that, uh, Monsanto doing everything to uh, the GMOs. So, I just eat what I want. I do my, uh, let's see what else in results in this bag. I do my, um, look like a face there. I do my, um, what you call it? Using my own, making my own vinegar. As you've seen on my videos where I make my own vinegar and stuff. And I uh, process it before I eat it. I try to process everything before I eat it. Sometimes I eat it without processing But most of the time, I process my food before I eat it. Fruits and vegetables. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. I just wanted to show me my setup. That view. Think outside the box. You can do almost anything. With little or nothing. My little heater setup. And I'm going to tell you, I did this overnight. So, two, David should dehype that fast. Green onions, celery, uh, sweet potatoes, and my cured bacon. Whatever it is. Cured whatever it is. Alright, guys. I love you. Be prepared. Be aware. Be informed. And uh, keep praying. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.